Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the JRPG Report. My name is Dalton Suter, and this is episode 252. Not a ton of news this week, but a bunch of big news. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get this episode out to you guys and get this information to you. Starting off with the Disgaea 7 series of Disgaea Academy trailers are starting to appear worldwide to discuss the new game. This series of shorts first debuted in Japan starting in December of 2022. The localized versions are basically exactly like the originals, with each installment going over different features and elements of both new, the new entry and the series in general. The first one is called, What is Disgaea? This video is more of a general introduction to the Disgaea series, and it involves Zombie Maiden learning more about the games from her teacher, Mr. Ranger. It begins by reminding people when Disgaea 7 releases, then introduces the new series, brings up how to play, shows footage from the new game, and it also goes over how quote-unquote big numbers remain a hallmark of the series. For example, it mentions that the level cap is 9,999 and millions of damage can be dealt. So if you would like to check out that trailer, do go check out the NISM America YouTube. You can find it on there, and Disguise 7's release date is October 3rd of 2023 in North America. October 6th, 2023 in Europe, and October 13th, 2023 in Australia. And you will be able to play the game on PS4, PS5, Switch, and PC. Up next, ahead of the June 2023 games showcases, people noticed references to P5T and a possible Persona 5T game from Atlas. Due to an initial posting of a trailer ahead of time on the official Atlas West Instagram account, a leaked trailer revealed it is Persona 5 Tactica. It also mentioned it will come to Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC on November 17th, 2023. It will be an Xbox Game Pass title as well. Atlas has since removed the trailer from its Instagram account, though. Uh, but Twitter user Juno Haruto captured the trailer ahead of Atlas removing it. It sees the Phantom Thieves in a new Shadow Realm and Palace. An original character appears and says she's with the Rebel Corps. She also mentions the Rebel Corps will continue to support the Phantom Thieves as the group helped them. From there, it shows the character fighting alongside them, and then it shows the group fighting to return home. <clears throat> this was one of two leaks, and I will cover the other leak in just a second, but Persona 5 Tactica will apparently come to Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC on November 17th, 2023. Persona 5 Royal is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. And the original Persona 5 first appeared on the PS3 and PS4. Now, the other leak, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the other leak. Everyone, rub your hands together. Get ready because, ooh, it's so good. Following rumors of a Persona 3 remake, Atlas shared a trailer for the game early on its official Instagram account. Its official title is Persona 3 Reload. The video involved initial footage of gameplay showing both the school life and Tartarus exploration elements. Only the male protagonist Makoto appeared in the footage and imagery. The announcement also confirmed an early 2024 release window and Xbox Game Pass release. The only platforms mentioned were Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. The trailer was since removed from the Instagram, but the trailer which was provided by at scrambled faz on YouTube. I'm sorry, excuse me on Twitter. Uh, he, he posted it. Uh, he caught it before it was removed and shared online. And as Atlas leaked this and the persona five tactica trailer earlier, there is no word on additional platforms. All of them bear Xbox themed marketing and refer to Xbox game pass as such. We'll probably learn more immediately after the Xbox game showcase on June 11th, 2023. The Persona 3 Reload remake will come to Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC in early 2024. The original game and its FES version appeared on the PS2, and people can find Persona 3 Portable on the PS4, Switch, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. So another one that I'm super hyped about that came out uh, during Summer Games Fest, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, will be launching for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Steam and Microsoft Store on November 9th, and it will be $49.99. Pre-orders include the Legendary Fighter Pack, which includes characters Daigo Dojima, 
Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima as bonus boss battles. Here's an overview of the game via Sega. Once a legendary Yakuza, Kazuma Kiryu faked his own death and abandoned his name for the sake of protecting his family. Now, he is thrust in a conflict by a mysterious figure attempting to drive him out of hiding. Under the, cord under the code name Joryu, Kiryu embarks on a gripping action narrative with bone-shattering combat and vibrant locations filled with exciting characters and activities. And yes, I know what you all are thinking. This game's not a JRPG, but hear me out. This game is going to link with the newer Like a Dragon game coming out, and that is supposed to be an RPG. So if you want the, the story that fills you in with what's happening between the new game and Yakuza 6, where Kiryu left off, this is the game that you're going to want to play. <clears throat> Dynamically switch between the Yakuza and agent fighting styles and visceral melee combat with the Yakuza style. Strike fear into your enemies by unleashing wildly aggressive moves powered by Kiryu's unparalleled strength and flair, or up the ante with the agent style by delivering blows with absolute speed and precision while using an array of high-tech gadgets like electrified bind wires to stun enemies that send them flying. Whether you're brawling in a secret castle arena, singing a new karaoke song, enjoying a drink at the live-action cabaret club, or racing in pocket circuit, the world offers a variety of immersive experiences. So if you are hyped about that like I am, keep your eyes and ears out for that. November 9th, stoked for it, cannot wait. Curtindo um podcast, né? Sabe o que você também vai curtir? Saber que o melhor flip de todos os tempos chegou. O novo Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, com flex cam, que tem zoom automático e faz selfies de 50 megapixels. E com bateria estendida para nunca te deixar na mão. Vá a uma loja ou saiba mais em samsung.com.br. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. Galaxy AI chegou. And then what I figured would be the only Final Fantasy VII news in the Summer Games Fest, we got... Oh, misclicked there. Okay, there we go. A new Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis trailer appeared at the Summer Games Fest 2023, and the trailer showed new and returning characters and gameplay. Additionally, pre-registration for the closed beta of the game has started. The official website for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis was also revealed, and it included the captions, Another Possibility for a Remake. The website New Key Art features protagonist Cloud Strife and Zack Fair. The new Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis trailer focused on Sephiroth, the overarching villain of Final Fantasy VII series of games, and the trailer included the sentence, We still don't know Sephiroth, as its focal point. The new footage also teased the return of Genesis R Rhapsodos, oh, excuse me, and another villain in the series, and a central character to the narrative that first appeared in Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. If you'd like to check out that trailer, it is on the Square Enix YouTube account. And the closed beta for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis was previously announced on December 2022, or in December 2022, alongside a trailer. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis will come out for Android and Apple iOS devices, and we'll see the closed beta for the game in summer 2023. Pre-registrations are now open from the official website, and it will be a free-to-play game. So the next thing that jumped out to me during the Summer Games Fest was this new game based on Akira Toriyama's manga series, Sandland. And it, uh, the first trailer showed off melee and vehicular combat, racing and exploring, as well as plenty of delightful Toriyama-styled machines and monsters. Vehicles appear to play a large part in the game, as we saw mech suits, hover cars, and heavily armed buggies all racing across the dunes. There also appeared to be stealth sections, during which the main character Beezlebub had to sneak around armed guards and over tight ropes to avoid being seen. Sunrise... Kamikaze Doga and Anima are also developing a movie adaptation of the work and dropped a trailer featuring the voice cast back in April of 2023. That's in development, but the movie itself will appear in August of 2023. The Sandland game is currently without a release date, but will launch on the PC, PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series X. And then the, the Summer Games Fest starts kind of wrapping up, and Jeff Keighley says he's got one more trailer for us, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what this could be. And he says the rumors are true, and I was like, ooh, is it? Is it? <clears throat> and it was. On June 8th, 2023, Square Enix announced that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news would be coming soon. And it meant it, too. It showed up at Summer Games Fest 2023. During the showcase, a new Final Fantasy VII Rebirth trailer appeared, and then this confirmed the game will appear on two discs and launch in early 2024. If you would like to check out this trailer, it is on the Square Enix 
YouTube account. It features segments involving an, an attack initially with party on stretchers. It also teases new segments showing off Elena from the Turks and a scene at Cosmo Canyon. We also see Red 13 as a playable character and Aerith summoning Tifa to come fight when she's not in the active party of three. There's also a teaser at the end suggesting a deviation involving a certain character's fate. A lot of news came up about the installment over the week. Various members of the team shared quips, which Square Enix put up on Twitter. So these being a release date is being discussed. Uh, we'll see more of the world outside of Midgar. The narrative will look at each character. There will be some sort of preparations for people who didn't play part one of Final Fantasy VII Remake in part two. There will be new characters joining the party and new and remastered music will appear in the second part. So again, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will come out in early 2024 for the PlayStation 5, and it will be on two discs. And Final Fantasy VII a Remake, the original, is available for PS4, PS5, and PC. Now that's really all I have for you guys this week. There was not a whole lot more that jumped out to me, but those all were amazing. And I mean, I don't have any articles about it, but again, we also have Dragon's Dogma 2 to look forward to as well and i am just oh yeah, what a good time to be a jrpg fan what a good time to be into rpgs in general we're getting the good stuff here lately man we are getting the good stuff so i guess that just leaves if you'd like to check us out over on facebook is facebook.com slash the jrpg report sorry i'm not more active over there i try not to get on facebook too terribly much uh if you'd like to check us out over on twitter where i am retweeting news stories uh whenever i see them at JRPG Report. If you would like to support the show, which would mean a whole ton to me, it uh, it, it helps out a lot, believe me, especially with them cutting hours at work. Oh boy, I appreciate each, each and every dollar. Uh, Patreon.com slash JRPG Report. And you can get your name read out on each and every show like these wonderful people, Jake W., Jordan K., Kularian, and Master Loot. I appreciate you very, very much. And if you would like to hear me bi-weekly talk about PC games with some buddies of mine, Check us out over at the Steam Machine Podcast, where our next episode is going to be on the Resident Evil 2 remake. And spoilers, it's real good. <laughs> but that being said, I think I might dive into some Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and see what that series is all about. So I am going to leave this off with a do me a favor. Get back out there and level up. <laughs>